What's up guys, it's Chachi Power here to do another review for Collection DX. Today we have the uh, Pat Labor uh, Griffin. Uh, it's part of the Kodo Bukia um, D style series. This is number three out of the uh, entire series. Uh, this has got a nice uh, CG rendering on the box here. Uh, it's the Type J9 Griffin. So uh, we're going to take a look at that. Now inside the box you got your uh, usual crap, all the sprues where all the parts would be, which I've taken off obviously. Uh, got your baggies, all the other crap, and this one comes with optional aqua packs that would attach to the back of the Griffin so you can travel on the water. Uh, since my CMs already has these on and I don't have the yellow paint, skip them. If you're familiar with Kodo stuff, you know they're, uh, everything's high quality, even the instructions are full color, glossy paper. Um, in case you do decide to paint, here are those two aqua packs I was talking about. They're painted yellow, which I am not using. Also shows you some optional paint schemes you can use. The inside is black and white line art. Very easy to follow instructions. So altogether high quality kit. I got these guys set up over here. Uh, these are actually Brave Gokens back here by CM's Corporation. And they're D-style counterparts down at the bottom. Uh, this, you might have seen my review for this kit on Collection DX already. Um, but we're going to concentrate on this little guy right here, which uh, is one of my favorites. Now there's tons of ways of um, weathering your figures. I like to take the easy, cheap way out since I don't have airbrushes. I don't feel like messing around with enamels. Um, this allows room for mistakes. Um, so the kind of weathering I want to make is basically, in real life I imagine the black would be paint. So of course he's going to get scuffed up during battle and stuff or you know, uh, erosion due to water or whatever. So what I'd like to do is take the silver marker and just dab it along the edge here, as you can see there. And then, I'm not probably not going to leave this uh, permanently, but uh, then I take my finger, whoops, let's try it again. I take my finger and just rub down, see how it, uh, it's causing a eroded effect there. Now see, I've gone ahead and erased it since I didn't like it too much. It's a great thing about this marker. Kind of want to, if he's facing forward, you kind of want it to go straight down. So let's try it again. Put a little bit of silver there. And then just rub down with your fingers. It's really hard to see with this camera, but it's a simple eroded effect there. Obviously, you might want to make it a lot neater than I am. It's kind of hard to do it in front of a camera. But there you go. Uh, you might want to do the same thing on the front here. And same thing with your finger. Just push down. And it gives that nice eroded effect. Or paint missing effect. And obviously, you might want to do it on the front too just rub back and cause a nice metallic you know effect there the best thing is if it if you don't like it you just keep rubbing or just completely rub it off since this takes a little while to dry but yeah so I figured I'd show you guys a cheap way of uh, you know weathering the figure Anyway, so let's get back to the review here. It comes with these wings, uh, these wings alone. Okay, uh, I went ahead and slightly metalized the entire figure to give it a little more realistic feel, but I had mentioned those uh, aqua boosters, which are these right here. I'm not gonna use these. Uh, if I'm gonna use them, I wanna paint them first, but I don't have yellow, like I said. Pretty much happy with the way this is. Now, aside from uh, these 
optional boosters. It's also got a little mini gun, which would go in his hand. Now it's got a optional uh, fists, which I'm not using since I won't be displaying it with a gun. And I don't want to be losing fists, uh, but they're these right here, where you could put the gun. See that? But that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not much to say about a, a kit. Oh, but I uh, actually forgot one of the most important parts. This is a pre-painted kit, so you basically can build it right out of the box. Uh, colors are painted, the color details, like these little red spots. Um, the cloth joints, would, which aren't cloth on this, are painted gray, the joints here. Um, that's pretty much it with the, you know, with the stock paint job. Uh, it has clear red details and that about sums up this little review so uh, check out Collection DX for the full review and other reviews of other toys uh, till next time bye